Hello crafters, this is Honest Abe coming at you and I want to welcome you guys back to uh, Lincoln Land. Sorry I haven't been able to uh, put out a video this past week, I've just been really busy with work and and I was planning on putting one out last night but I just got uh, caught up in doing some things, didn't get home till late and uh, so forth. But uh, we're coming at you today with a video on how to make a moat for your castle as you can see we're working on our castle project here in lincoln land and as you see before us a new addition to lincoln land is our little bridge here and we started the lincoln highways and byways so this uh this just is a little bridge it's a work in progress and our uh, our highways and byways are going to go down this way and probably do some buildings or something over in this area thinking about you know maybe building like a boat or something out there um but this is a work in progress i'm probably going to fix these stairs right here i'm actually going to make these uh, uh two blocks wide and then step down with half slabs instead of the actual uh cobblestone slabs and so this will come and i'll have a little walkway to our first house that we had here and we'll come across here and of course if you if you're riding on a horse or whatnot, you can come over here, and this is going to be our future site for our stables. And I am really, really excited, guys. I mean, I am. I've been working really hard on the layout for this castle uh, project, and it's not only going to be a castle, but we're going to have a barracks uh, in there for like soldiers, and we're going to have an apothecary and brewing shop for all your stuff. We're going to have a weapon shop and a and a smith uh, who can fix all of the weapons and armor and then we're gonna have just like a basic material shop that has a whole bunch of stuff uh, but yeah just uh, been putting a lot of work into it and uh, the layout for it and maybe eventually I'll, I'll give you guys a pic of that uh, what it's gonna look like and post that on Twitter or something uh, for you guys to take a look so appreciate you guys watching my videos uh, as always and uh, let's just get right into it today so uh, a couple videos ago, I showed you guys the start of my moat, and so we started it over here, and I continued it down, and this is set up for our video today already, and hello there, Mr. Enderman. All right, so basically what I do is, uh, to make a moat, is I just start cutting out, making a pathway, and that was part of a cave system, so that was already pre-dug out for me all the way over into that area, so that was kind of nice, so that's kind of where I based on where the moat was going to be. Um, and so I just kind of go at it and basically what you do is um, I, I like doing a step down process so here's our mainland and then a step down and a step down so next what we would do is we would clear out this layer of rock right here and I don't care so much what kind of uh, rock or whatever it is but and then just kind of cut along in here and it doesn't have to be completely symmetrical a step down you can have have a you know a two block step down or whatnot but uh it doesn't really matter however you want it it's basically up to you if you want to clear it all out and make it all dirt or all gravel um that is uh, that is definitely an option and i've actually done that in some places i've actually gone and just mined out all the all the stone and stuff like that because i need a lot of stone for this project and i always forget to turn off the autosave for some reason i don't know why but anyway i uh, hope you guys are doing well hope you guys have had a good week so far um and uh let me know uh, what you guys uh, what you guys think about uh, about the project so far and maybe what else i actually I, I have set out right now for 12 separate buildings uh inside our uh our castle area and so there is room i think i only have like nine designated right now um as like a smith shop a barracks um, you know, the apothecary shop, the weapons uh, shop, uh, you know, armor, whatnot. But, yeah, so I, 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 have, I have definitely some, some spots some spots open to, uh, to fill. So let's just go ahead and uh, say we're going to end our, this section of our moat right here. And so I just kind of do this in sections. It's a little bit easier um, to do. But yeah, let me know what you guys think on uh, on what other buildings. Maybe what, what what's a building that would maybe belong in a castle area that uh, that would be fun fun to build. Um, all right, so all right, and then just kind I just kind of go the next layer down, you know, and and just kind of mine it out. 
and that's the process uh, that I use to to do my mining for a moat. And I think I think it gives you guys a good, a good perspective on a, on a little step down. And uh, basically, I mean, all a moat really is there for is to slow the enemy down that's trying to storm the castle. And so if they're having to wade through the water, well, my archers on top of the wall there are going to shoot you as you try to get through. Um, so that's basically all a moat was ever really designed for. It's basically just to slow down the advance of, of the infantry and of the enemy. And uh, pretty basic concept, whether it was mud or uh, water or combination of both or tar that you could light on fire. Uh, there was uh, many different methods. And then, of course, you could stand up on top of the wall and throw down rocks and stones if you were running out of arrows or trying to conserve. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I just uh, I think that's uh, that's basically what uh, what uh, they tried to do. So anyway, you guys get the idea. Basically, it's a lot of cutting out a block. So I'm not going to. Uh, I'll get this layer done real quick, and uh, we'll move on to the next project. So. Once you get it get cut out, and I'll actually bring this down, probably another layer or two. So once you guys uh, get that in, what you guys want to do is go ahead and start filling up your area. And so what I do is I just lay down a, P, uh, a layer of dirt uh, across the top here, and then we'll just shovel it out. So let's go ahead and get our water rolling here and get a, uh, get a, good, uh, a good source of water flowing. And water is one of the craziest things in Minecraft. And <laughs> if uh, if you're not familiar with it, it sometimes has a mind of its own. So uh, just uh, just kind of play with it and see uh, see how uh, how you guys can uh, you know do it to maybe there, there might be a better process than what I'm doing for sure. I just know that. This kind of is the easiest way that I, I found out to do it. You get a good solid layer of, uh, of water. And basically then you can just knock out all the blocks that are beneath it. And, and it fills up the rest of, of your moat or your swimming pool or kind of however um, you and whatever, whatever you design you end up making. Um, for your water. I do plan on, on building a swimming pool here in Lincoln Land at some point. So we will definitely play with that some more. All right. But uh, well, yeah, let me know uh, what uh, what type of maybe castle builds you guys have, have built in, in your worlds. Uh, maybe even just shoot me a picture on, on Twitter or Facebook. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but uh, but yeah, let me know uh, what other type of castle builds you've built. I, I, I saw the uh, Game of Thrones one, and of course we have the uh, the seed pack for uh, for Skyrim, and and that's kind of uh, I was thinking you know I could do some stuff maybe like do some like Skyrim stuff, but I was like oh you know that stuff's already been done, and you know I don't need to I don't need to copy uh, what uh, what Skyrim has already done. Uh, for the Minecraft stuff, and uh, I was like, "Oh well, you know, you know, Princess Bride's my favorite movie." So I was like, "Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll do some stuff maybe uh, with the Princess Bride." And you know, I mentioned that I think in a couple videos ago, like do like uh, the um, the Pit of Despair uh, or whatnot, and kind of you have your Gilder and your Florin uh, stuff like that, and uh, you know that that'd be that'd be definitely a a cool aspect to add um, maybe build like the ship or something from from the movie and uh, you know have that uh, have that sitting out in like the harbor but I have a ton of ideas right now I, and I'm, I'm just gonna have to uh, share share them with you guys just kind of in a layout as I get uh, as I get everything to do all right looks like we're good there so basically just then uh, take uh, take your shovel and just start knocking everything out. And you know, it's, you know, it's always helpful to have maybe a uh, uh, aqua affinity or a respiration on your boots or your helmet. Um, that way uh, you can do this uh, pretty quickly. But 
this is just kind of my method of doing it. I just kind of walk right along uh, the top here. And then we can go ahead and connect these areas here as darkness falls on Lincoln Land. And of course, I'll come in and knock out uh, those pieces right there. But, yeah. This is basically it. So you just knock, knock these out. And then you can go down into your moat here. And there you go. You got yourself a decent a decent moat but anyway that is the basic concept of how to build a moat in minecraft so definitely uh, implement into that into your castle designs on however you guys uh, whatever you guys decide to build and i'm going to continue finishing the rest of this stuff off camera but uh, i hope you guys have a great evening and this is honest abe signing off have a good one guys